Welcome back to the channel. It's Gator Bite on the mic. Where today we're going to go through and show you how to flash the Helltech V3 using the web flasher from Meshtastic, specifically for the DEF CON firmware. So once you plug it in, you can see the current version that we have flashed on here is the 272. We're going to update that to the 273. This will work on any version, including if there's a new one that pops up. If you use a Chrome browser, go to defcon.meshtastic.org, select your Helltech V3 device, select the DEFCON 33 firmware, and click continue. You will want to check the box to full erase and install, and you're going to click the CP2102. If you have an issue and this does not work, click another device, click flash, and then go back to that CP2102, and it should work for you. If not, make sure to go jump into our forms. We're happy to help. Check your cable. I can't tell you how many times it's been a bad cable that's been the issue, but this goes fairly quickly with the Helltech V3s taking anywhere from 45 seconds to about a minute and a half. So as this is writing out, first it's going to flash the app onto it, which is about 25% right now. Any second, I'll throw up on the screen what this actually looks like for the Helltech device in the top corner. And after it's done flashing the app, we'll go through and also do the OTA update. With this, just don't play with your device while it's going through and flashing it because we want to make sure it's got a good, decent write. If you have a loose USB connection, that can cause an issue. So from here, once you've got this writing, here's an example of what it'll look like. We've right now can see the device just flashing a little bit as it's going through and having the flashing update app. It's about 70% now. This is real time. This is not sped up. So you can go through and look at the timer to see about how much time it takes to go through and do. Like I said, 45 seconds to a minute and a half is pretty common. And as we're going through, it will flash this little white light as it's going through and writing onto there. That's not an issue. And to make sure at the very beginning, which you should make sure to have everything plugged in ahead of time, including that antenna. If you don't have your antenna plugged in before you start flashing or turning on this device, you can actually burn out the radio. So I'll make sure to bring that up in my future videos as well. You can see it's flashing the OTA update now. And most of the time, once it's done with this, it will reboot itself every once in a blue moon it'll stay on and you can reboot it yourself but you're waiting for that sign so flashing is 100 percent complete this device went through and rebooted it says leaving in the web console at this point we're done with the web console we can actually close it out and then if we let it power back up it should come back up here any second and we can pick it up and cycle through the new look for the mesh tastic devices so we can actually go through and it went through and did the power boot the very first thing that you're going to do is going to click the LoRa region if you do the quick press on the top which is as program the quick select button is going to go through and make it shift down by one if you hold it by two seconds it will select it if you accidentally select something wrong, is like the wrong region, you can always just reflash it. Now we can also see it's flashed on 2.7.3 for the Meshtastic DEF CON firmware. So we're looking forward to be able to show this off at DEF CON. Let's actually go through and see the different new screens. Now you have your messages, you have last heard, bearings, you have position, you also have the LoRa with the different frequencies and it tells you what BLE, Bluetooth, low energy address is going to be up, the heap stack in flash, and then what version it's specifically using, as well as the uptime version number here. It's got a gigantic clock here at the end, and then it goes back to the very top or the home view. So this will show you if you have your battery plugged in and or if you have GPS. So with that, that's the quick way to flash. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.